Yeah, let's do that. Let's talk about food. We're going to get things going right here in the Stone Creek Kitchen with Donovan's Steak and Chop House and Sue, Sue Chef. Okay, we call you Tom Hunyadi, but it's not. <laughs> It's not. It's Hunyadi. Hunyadi. Tom yes. Hunyadi is here to show us how to create a flavorful. This is a, a new fall salad for you guys. It's That's a correct. beet salad. That's correct. This 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 uh, holiday season we've been featuring very earthy, very comfort mm. food flavors, including a smashed yam, including another endive salad, and following up for one of our most popular new items is our roasted beet salad. Roasted beets. Okay. Right. So now, and beets. I mean, you can get them all. You know, all year long. All year long. And. And um, these are beautiful beets, by the way. So what's the difference between roasting and baking beets? Well, roasting, you're going to get the heat from above the oven. There's, you, you, when you open your oven, you'll see a little, you know, see the, the, the red lines at top, and you're going to get that heat from above. So we want that tray down real low. Correct. Okay. And the medium to low. Okay. Okay. So with their brisa, roasted beets, you can see they're going to come in different sizes. They come from anywhere from golf ball to softball size. Right. What, which ones are the best, or better ones to? Uh, medium size. Okay. Not too so, big, not, not too small. Too, exactly. Okay. Now, ro when you're roasting, roasting your beets, we'll grab two here. Okay. Put in our bowl. All right. Hand okay. that to you. That's a beautiful That's, bowl, by the way. Thank you very much. <laughs> but it's, it's really simple. All we're going to do is just add a little olive oil. Do you have salt to clean pepper. them up first, or does that matter? Are you going to take the skin off? Well, if you if you do buy them at the store, they'll they'll, they'll be pretty much clean. Okay. But if you want to run rinse them underneath water, that's I'm kind of a scrubber. That's up. That's fine too. I don't know why, too. but I am. I just that <laughs> kind of you know. So you want to give them a really nice coat of the salt and pepper and olive oil. Nice. Until they got a nice shiny color mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. We'll just place them on our on our sheet tray. Okay. Now, when you're roasting the beets, you want to preheat uh, your oven to about 350. Okay. And we're going to roast for here, approximately me, 20 minutes. Let me get the oven door oh, for you. Oh, please. Shall Thank I? you very much. Shall I? Let's walk <laughs> over here into our into our oven area. And look, we have one roasted already. Oh, yeah, look at that That's magic. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, so that is on the lowest level. That's Correct. roasting, not Correct. baking. Correct. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Look at that. All right. Okay. And how long did you say? Well, depending on size, this is a medium-sized beet, so we're going to roast this for about 20 minutes. Okay. After 20 minutes, we'll take a look, and if you can start seeing the skin starting to peel itself, oh, you're, you're good to go. You're good to go. Right. Now, I notice you're using gloves. Is that yes. because, look, they are yes. kind of messy, right? Now, well, a good this? tip for, for using red beets. Mm -hmm. Golden beets, they, they won't bleed, but when you're using red beets, they tend to bleed to get on your finger. If you're using a nice cutting board, maybe lay down some foil or some film. Oh, good idea. Okay. So we're just going to cut off both ends. And does it matter what kind of beet? I mean, because beets are naturally sweet, and I don't right. even know if they have a. I'm certain there, they there's, have a variety. Right there, there's gold. There's there's golden, white, and red beets. Okay. And those are the three basic colors you'll see for a beet. And and, and your in your guys' salad, fall salad, you're using a variety. Correct. We're using the gold and the red. Awesome. Okay. So you can use a, get, grab a little parry knife if you want, and just go along, go along the edges. As you'll see, that it's already peeling itself. It is. Boy, I think beets are such a beautiful. Is it a fruit or a vegetable? It's a vegetable. I don't, they're just so beautiful. And I love the, the natural sweetness that they mm -hmm. have to them. Very earthy, sweet flavor. Uh, so you can see here is our finished product beet right here. Excellent. Okay. And then also we, at, at the Donovan's, we will we'll cube them. We get a nice small dice. Mm -hmm. And we'll also julienne them on our mandolin that oh. we have. Okay. So just doing it right here, you can see. And then you... you when you julienne them, um, okay, you, you said you had a mandolin. Yes, we, have a, okay. we, we cheat a little bit. So if you're at home, if you have a mandolin. Well, we've got, you know, right. uh, you know four or 500 people to feed. I guess right. that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> so right here we've got our mixed greens that we use. So you can use about approximately, you know, two to three ounces. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll feed about two. Okay. Okay, if you're at home. <laughs> we that, have, that's, that, I, would, I could eat that all by myself. I'm a big salad eater. Well, then there you go. Yeah. You're all set. We you have here a balsamic vinegar. Mm. We're going to add a, a half of the beets, uh, or half the golden beets, I should say. Mm -hmm. Mix that in together. And you cooked the golden beets the same way you did Correct. the red beets? Absolutely. Okay, yes. I Correct. should say roasted them. Right. I don't want to say cook. <laughs> it's the wrong term. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Here, plate that up for us real quick, because we're going um, we're gonna to come back in the next segment um, with Chef.
Hyundai. Hi, I'm sorry. I, like, Hun, I know, I just like saying Hyundai. Um, and we're going to talk about an event that is coming up involving the Arizona Cardinals. The quarterback, even even though Kevin Kolb is, is, is not feeling well, as you know these days, um, he's still partaking in an amazing event that's happening at Correct. the restaurant coming up um, in November, and we're going to talk about that. Mm -hmm. So when you do this um, salad, you, you added, I, I noticed you have some blue right. cheese. Is that an option? This or? Is, this, yeah. Yeah, this is an option. This is our finished product at, at Donovan's. But if you're at home and if you want to be creative, add a little bit more flavors, you're free to add tomatoes, you know, blue cheese is also a wonderful addition. Yeah, somebody just said uh, Kevin Cobb. What did I say? Kevin Cobb. Cold. Oh, God. See, I told you, yeah. I, don't, I don't follow football. And so. cucumbers. I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> I know who... who um, Fitzgerald is. Fitzgerald. Well, I know who he is. He should be there as well. <laughs> it took me a moment. <laughs> oh, think about that. Well, he's going to be there. I'm going to be there then. <laughs> All right. So, Chef, um, so Steph, when we come back, um, we're doing a little surf and turf, and that's going to be the main course okay. at the event coming up that Kevin... Kevin Cobb. Kevin Cobb <laughs> is um, doing to give back. It's called uh, Pass, Pass It Forward. Forward. It's a cool, cool event. We're going to tell you about that in the next segment.